Hi, my name is Eric Schneider. I'm an applications engineer here at Qualitrol, and today I wanted to talk about the smart breathers that we make to uh, allow your transformer conservator tanks or your load tap changer tanks to breathe without allowing moisture into the tank. There are basically three sizes of the smart breather. This is the baby one, the STB100. This can be used on either a load tap changer tank or a small conservator tank. The STB100-2 is a two kilogram unit that you'd use on a larger tank. And then finally, we've got the jumbo that you might use on a step up transformer conservator tank or something like that. That is four kilograms of desiccant, weighs 42 pounds, uh, very useful. Now, the key to these is that they automatically regenerate themselves. So there's no necessity for a tech to be going out to a substation and constantly checking the desiccant. Once these are set up and running, they're going to run for life. Uh, the desiccant never needs to be replaced. If there is an issue with the unit, it will report back using RS-232 Modbus communications and you can monitor this at a control station and there's no problems whatsoever. So it's basically a set it and forget it type application that works really, really well. There are several components to this. Main component, of course, is the electronics. It's up in this front panel box. You would make all of your connections to your power, your RS-232 communications right through this. And then on the side, you'll see the desiccant. What you can't see is that there's a heater that runs through the desiccant, and that is triggered to operate by a relative humidity sensor and a timer on the board. So if the relative humidity of the air that is coming out of the conservator tank reaches a certain set point, this will regenerate while the conservator is breathing out. There's also a valve that will close so that if the conservator tank starts breathing in, you're not going to suck moisture out of the desiccant while it's regenerating, which is a critical application that needs to be in place. Otherwise, you just pull all the moisture back in. Not so good. You can also set up to regenerate based on time. The times are choosable. You can set it up to regenerate every day, every five days, every month. I would suggest every five days. A month seems to be a little too long in my experience of working in the field. So the top hat has the valve and the humidity sensor, and the bottom part will have your timing systems. Now, one of the things you need to know is if you're putting this on a load tap changer, it needs to be specific to the LTC model because this software has some modifications so that it isn't looking for a lot of air moving out of a load tap changer. Those are a lot smaller. So the sensor block here, mounting plate on the back, you're going to have a tube that's coming out of the top, or you might have flanges. There are several options for flanges. You've got light emitting diodes across the front that will tell you the status if you're actually looking at the unit. As I said, your control box will take care of everything in terms of remote communications. And once it's set up, it's set up and forget it. Uh, it works that well. So if you've got any questions about this unit, feel free to give us a call, ask for an applications engineer, or visit us on the web at www.qualitrolcorp.com. Thanks very much.